Hey, what's up, people? This is Isaac. Um, I just, I guess God was really putting it on my heart to make this video about addressing the fact of the question: Are we in the last days of the earth, or are we in the last days before the coming of Christ? Is that right around the corner? Um, the answer to that question is yes, and I'm gonna, you know, kind of explain why just a little bit. So I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't really have any clue about um, current events and lots of prophecies that are in that are in the Bible that's being fulfilled in real life every day, basically right now. Um, but we are actually in end times, and I was I was praying to God about this because um, yesterday I was watching um, some YouTube videos about people sharing dreams and stuff they've had about um, Jesus taking them in the rapture and people being left behind in the church and all kinds of stuff like that. And I was praying to God about it. And for some reason, like, because I was trying to find confirmation, like, is this true? Like, are we right around the corner? Because that's what I felt myself, but I really just wanted some confirmation from God. So and then for some reason, I've never done anything like this. But um, I went to our pantry and I took a bottle of olive oil. I don't even know why. It was like a Bible verse about like anointing or something. And I like, I like took olive oil and I like rubbed, I like poured it on this Bible and I rubbed it all over the Bible. And I was praying for probably about 40 minutes that God would speak to me through this Bible. Um, and I wasn't really thinking about end time stuff or anything. I just, it was just something I was kind of in the spirit of God and that's something that I did. Um, and I was praying for it for a while and then I opened up, um, the Bible and I opened up to page 808, I think. So I was praying for God that he would speak to me through the Bible. Um, and I opened up to page, no, my bad guys, I'm sorry. What was the page? It was like page 800 or so. 818, I think. It was either 800 or 818. Because I remember the page number. No. Hold up, I'll, I'll be right back, it's fine. <laughs> my bad. So I opened up to page 880, and 881, and um, I looked, the first place my eyes went to, hold up, I don't know if you can see that, um, the coming of the Son of Man, so that was, um, so I just opened, I was just like this, I had my eyes closed, I was like this in the whole Bible, my marker wasn't in the Bible, I was just like this. Both, out of the whole Bible and I just opened it and I looked down with my eyes and I was looking directly at this the coming of the Son of Man so that's in Luke chapter 21 verse 25 and then I read that and I said and there will be signs in the Sun and moon and stars and on the earth distress of nations and perplexity because of the, of the roaring of the sea and the waves people fainting with fear with foreboding is what of what is coming on the world for the powers of heaven will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads because your redemption is near. And then um, I looked and I read this next one. Actually, technically what happened was, um, so my eyes, first thing I saw is I opened the Bible and I saw this, the lesson of the fig tree. Then my eyes went up and I read this, and I read this verse, then I read this the lesson the lesson of the um the fig tree so then after i read that then i looked at the title that i first looked when i opened the bible and this is verse 20 29 of luke chapter 21 um and then he told them a parable look at the fig and all the trees as soon as they come oh as soon as they come out in leaf you see for yourselves and know that summer is already near so also when you see these things taking place you know that the kingdom of god is near Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And I read that, and that kind of was like, I was like, whoa. Like, you know, God, that, that, because I flipped open the Bible, and it just, it went right to that. That was the first thing that I read. And I was feeling like that in my spirit, but I was also, because when I talk to my family and stuff, it feels like they're like, well, you know, um, if God wants to come back today, that's fine, but we're gonna you know life is gonna continue most likely for 25 years or whatever but um they i mean obviously they're not they haven't been paying attention to the signs of the time and stuff like that 
but and I really encourage you guys to do that. I want I mean pray about it to God a lot, ask for God's confirmation like he had confirmed to me and then just I was going to make a video on this and I was just so I was at our other house and I was walking back to here um to make this video. And while I was walking back, I had my iPod, this iPod, I had it in my pocket and um it had a song that was going on repeat and I'd forgotten to turn off that song and it was like it's it's um it's called the final exodus and um I was I was walking back and then ra randomly so this was in my pocket and but the song was I guess playing but I couldn't hear it or anything and then randomly I was like oh I want to hear that song and then I thought in my head uh there's the lyrics of the song where there's a one part in the song where it goes it's revelation it's this generation no no it says we're in revelation it's this generation um and i and i put this so i thought that in my head i was like oh yeah that's a cool part of the song i put this in and it said we're in revelation it's this generation right away that was the first thing part of that song that's only one part of the song it's like four minutes long song that's like one um chord of lyrics in the whole song um so yeah, I just want you, all you guys to know that seriously, Jesus Christ is coming back soon. You know, the rapture is going to happen soon. I am not. I don't know any dates or anything. I don't know how much longer we're going to be here, but things are wrapping up in this world. And if you guys don't believe me, I mean, look up. There's so many things that's wrong with our world right now. There's great, like, spiritual wickedness that's going on in high places. There's the distress in the nations of the earth. You know, there's all kinds of natural phenomenons that's happening. Crazy earthquakes, tsunamis. That's like never happened before and it keeps just getting more and more of all kinds of natural disasters all the time. But there's also really weird stuff. Um, if you guys want to look up the um, the demonic um, alien manifestations that's been happening and there's also going to be some kind of demonic um, alien thing that's going to happen during uh, the tribulation which will happen. And there's also all kinds of um, programming that's going on in people's brains through Hollywood and um and video games about movies about the end of the world and about aliens and about zombies and obviously in the tribulation will be even worse than that but um people are literally being programmed so that they will subconsciously just um not even assume that these cre these weird creatures will be fallen angels or anything because they've already been programmed that there's something from like another planet or something like that but these things do exist what they are is demons um they're just satanic manifestations um because what happens is you know the revelation starts well i mean church gets raptured up and then also it talks about in revelation you know archangel archangel michael is fighting with um archangel michael is fights the great serpent and then finally he casts him and um and all his demons all his fallen angels out of heaven so what a lot of people don't understand is that um, the, the Satan and his angels stuff were still able to come to heaven for a bit, like to like receive instructions. They're still in the spiritual realm. So what's going to happen is they will be cast out of heaven as the tribulation starts. I mean, they weren't on God's side, but they were still able to access. That's you know they were in the spiritual realm. They will all man. They're all like going to manifest in some form or another on the earth. But that's also how God is going to be able to manifest because it will literally be open heaven for whatever believers that's left or left behind or whatever um you know and if god will use you like there'll be amazing you know uh p people of god and just like people will just be able to pray and their prayers are going straight to god because there's not all that other stuff in the air and i just want to talk to you too about because we're in the last days you know god promises that in the last days he's going to pour, pour out his spirit on all flesh um, and I just want to talk about from my experience, just coming to him um, humbly this summer and just crying out that I need mercy and stuff like that. I wasn't expecting anything more except to just feel peace and just to, you know, not, I just didn't want to go to hell. And I, you know, I realized that I was guilty of sin and was calling myself a Christian and I was a faker. Um, and, but God poured out his spirit on me. You know, he poured out, I have the gift of tongues, I've, I, I've seen, he showed me dreams about stuff, you know, like, um, also, too, another amazing thing that happens when you get God's spirit is 
when you read the Bible, everything just becomes clear. You understand the stuff in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Um, then there's stuff that I don't always understand. And then I'll like pray to God about it. And he, like the answer will come into my head right as I pray about it. And this isn't just for me. This is because we're living in the last days. If you want to see God, God will make himself known, especially because, you know, there's a great trial that's coming upon the whole earth. I'm not going to claim any dates, but it's, it's coming soon. So I just want to give you guys an example about that, about, you know, God's spirit guiding you while you're reading the Bible. So like just today in church, we were, um, there was a sermon on Daniel and it was in, oh yeah. So we were reading Daniel chapter six, which talks about Belshazzar and putting Daniel in the lion's den and he was coming out. And I was reading ahead to chapter seven, just cause you know, I got the point of the sermon and I was like, cool. And I was asking God to speak to me and stuff like that. And I was reading ahead and it's the vision um, of the beasts and all that stuff. It's, it's a whole vision about the tribulation and the rapture. And not, I don't think it's about the rapture, it's about like the tribulation and the government that will be present during the tribulation, the one world government and like all kinds of other stuff. And I was reading it and there's like in verse, so Daniel 7 verse, um, hold up. Daniel 7 verse, uh, it's like verse 24 or something like that. Okay, yeah, so it was, it was Daniel chapter 7, um, verse, it was like from verse 24, I'll just read it. So, as for the ten horns, this is, this is the kingdom of the Antichrist. Out of this kingdom, ten kings will rise, and another shall rise after them. So, another kingdom will rise after the ten kings. He shall be different from the former ones. He shall put down three kings. He shall speak words against the Most High. He shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And shall think to change the times and the law, for they shall be given into his hand. So they shall be given into his hand. That's talking about the saints in the world. Um, this into his hand is the Antichrist. So I didn't understand this. I was reading this, and then I was like, God, what does this mean? And then the answer had come to my head, like right away. I had no idea what this was, and I was like pondering it in my own head. I was like, what is? Huh? I wonder. And then I was like, God, can you show me what this means, please, God? I'm trying to understand your word. That's what I was praying inside my spirit. Then I understood. So that the person is referring to here is the Antichrist, which comes halfway through the tribulation period of seven years. Then it says, and they shall be given into his hand for a time, times, and half a time. And I was wondering what that meant. I have no idea. I haven't studied this or whatever. I, I, I'm not a Bible scholar or anything. I prayed to God about it. And he, the answer was in my head. Like I interpreted it. Like I knew exactly what time, times, and half a time meant. The time meant a year, times meant two years, and then half a time meant half a year. So they'll be given into his hand for a time, times, and half a time. So that's one year plus two years plus half a year. That's three and a half years, which is the reign. That's the duration of how long the Antichrist will reign on earth during the tribulation before God comes in with his saints and sets up his everlasting kingdom, which is going to be so awesome when that happens. You know, when everything's restored in all creation. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say, like, I was not expecting anything, but I've had times like that where you read the Bible and I don't understand it. A lot of times I do understand it. So, like, I don't know how, but I just I'll understand things that's in the Bible. Um, and if I don't, usually I'll just pray to God. And so I don't always get an answer. But some like that one, I was in church today and that, that happened. And it was clear like this. I knew exactly what it meant. That's exactly what the interpretation is for that. You know, that that time, the time times and half the time is three and a half years, you know. And there's no way I could have known that, but God just gave me that interpretation. So I just want to say to you guys, you know, you know, wisen up, seek after God, you know, get wise, ask him for wisdom, live life, take life seriously, you know, because we are living in the last days. And just don't assume that just because we live in America or whatever, that, you know, nothing's going to go down or we're not going to be persecuted. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's already going down in this country. As far as if you guys know anything about FEMA camps, if you know anything about um, just kind of this globalist agenda that's going on, Agenda 21, um, our government's already setting up for martial law and takeover and stuff like that. And you, you really just have to really just be blind to not see this stuff. Um, so just pray for God to open up your eyes. You know, if God leads you to do some research, that's that's fine. 
you know, if God doesn't, and just just be aware of this kind of stuff, guys, because it's coming to our country. Um, you know, Christians are already being labeled and marked. People who are learning things about the government are already being labeled and marked. People are being marked right now, you know, by the CIA and stuff like that. You know, evangelical Christians are considered a threat, like a terrorist in our country. That's there's legis there's legislation about that. You know, there's a law that's passed just recently that. I don't know if it declared war. Yeah, I think it declared the homeland of America as a war zone. You know, our country's like buying 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition just this past year for for um the for the homeland security. Like, why are they buying that? The army's running all kinds of drills. You know, army's running uh drills and stuff where they go into lots of people's houses. The little literally the army, um, where they go into houses and take out civilians and stuff. That whole Boston bombing thing, why did the whole city shut down? Why did they have all kinds of trucks and everything? They, they shut down the whole city. Just for one, I mean, 10 people get killed in Boston like every day. Why did they shut it down only like, like they shut down the whole city, you know? Like people need to wake up because this is going to come on people who aren't ready for it. And so just, you know just pray to God and take take your life seriously that's all I want to say because things are coming I I mean I'm not, I have not had any specific dreams about this stuff but there are other people that are seeking you know Lord Yahweh on YouTube that um will, God will use them to share their dreams and stuff that he's given them you know and I'll pray about that stuff too when people share dreams I always pray about it because I want I don't want to just hear, I want God to confirm in my spirit that it's true. And he has, and people have had dreams about, you know, big East Coast tsunami coming very soon. Um, people have had dreams about, you know, the weird, the FEMA camps and all kinds of things. But I just want to say, when all that stuff starts to go down, when, you know, when the country starts to go down, um, you know, our lights are going to shine even brighter. You know, if you really have God in your heart. There's nothing, you're not even afraid of anything. I'd almost look forward to that opportunity because people will be so desperate and not understand and their whole world will be collapsing around them that they'll actually be open to hear the message about Jesus. And I feel like Jesus is really going to raise up people who will literally lay hands on the sick and heal the sick um, and all those kind of miracles, you know, that he'll, he, God will literally just pour out his spirit and there'll be just this huge, huge revival going on. So, I don't know, that's going to be awesome, but I just want you guys to all, you know, seek God seriously and, you know, know that time is running out on the world. You know, the, the, it's the, like the pieces are laid. Satan's already laid his pieces. He's already laid all the propaganda, you know, for the end time stuff throughout video games and movies and everything. I've, I've played these, I've watched these. Now that I've, God saved me, he actually showed me about that's what it's for. It's, it's propaganda.